Hello, welcome to a new tutorial presented by the SHRDB. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to modify our graph box. So now, let's see. In order for, for us to see this, we need to involve with a problem. And the problem is going to be shown when we are going to plot one. We have this graph. This graph is shown to us. As this graph is shown to us here, you need to this this part of our tutorial is going to show us how to modify our box, this box here. Now you can modify the box by changing by by, play, by setting the grid. You can decide to set the grid. If you want to set the grid that the grid should be seen, you are going to see how to be done in this tutorial. Again, you have a small problem here, the key. The key here. You see that the key here is inside our graph. But you can decide to set and change the, the, the location of the key and place it outside at this terminal. You can place it up, you can place it on this right margin and you can place it on the bottom. So there are, this, is, this is how we are going to modify our graph in this tutorial. So let's start. Initially said that it's always nice to start your graph by um, by placing the X range at the Y range. So we start by saying X range. So we set our X range. So let's say we set our X range this time around from negative 5 to 5. End up. So when we set our X range, we also set our range Y range with similar one. So our Y range as such. And then we are going to plot now with the domain written in square box. And we have negative 5 to 5. And we are going to let's say we want to plot the graph X squared. So this is a graph x squared you have plotted. So enter, we have this. So it's always good to always try to set your graph first. So as you have set your graph with different domain, you have this. So now we are going to let's say we want to um, do that this graph have a grid. So for this graph to have the grid, we just write set grid. So either you can either come here on this portion here on chart you write grid on or you can immediately write on your code set grid when you write set grid you then come again and you plot this graph you see that there are grids which are shown now on the graph now if you still want to remove this grid you write on set grid when you write on set grid you come now on your chart there is no more grid now let's say i set the grid and then i want to ask now my um, gnu plot if the grid is set or not so if you want to see the if the grid is set or not and you want to see the property of the grid you write show grid as such now when you show the grid as such you see rectangular grid drawn at x y six these are the properties of the grid major grid drawn at lt zero y this this so now you can decide you see that these are the properties of the grid here lt zero line color this and this 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 minor grid drawn with this now let's say you want to change these properties so in order for you to change the property i'm going to use set and then i'll come and i'll copy all this code here no, before copying, I'll write set grid in order to change the properties of the grid. I'll write set grid. When I've written the shown grid here, I'll, I'll copy all the code here. Now I will paste it here, LT0, and then I'll come and modify it as, I, as I've done with the X and the Y axis. So I modify it as 1 instead now. When I modify it as 1, I'll press enter, then I'll plot now 1. You see now here yeah, that the grids are in bold, but they are not very well. They are not. They, they are not very well distinguished from this our line x one. So you see how we have modified this grid. Now, if you still want again to modify um, the color, I can change it now to two. So I'll come back here 
on this initial code i will remove this one i will change it to zero and then i come here again and then i modify here to two so you enter and then you see plot your same graph when i plot this graph you see that the grid color has changed and now it's still having our semicolon you see it's still having dotted lines so this is how you set your grid so i usually it's always good to use, use this word show grid because show grid shows you the property and it tells you how you can modify this property indirectly so now after having the grid you have another problem which is this key here you can decide to change the location of the key so you in order for you to change the key you can see it still come at this point you have grid here these are the properties of grid and these are the properties of the key here so in order to have you have the key position here you can modify the position of the key you can place the position at default you can say that there is no key or you have the show key position this show key position is going to show you um how is the key the property of the key so now let's see we want to let's say we want to modify the position of the key come on the chart write key legend position our position there are different positions that you are going to write here but let's say we want to write the position outside first so you write set key in order to change the position of a key you write set key and then you write outside the different words you can enter there are you have inside comma we have outside we have our margin we have left our margin is right margin we have left margin left margin we have top margin with the t here we have top margin and we have lastly bottom margin so no not bottom it's only b and we have margin as such so these are the different words that can enter this position outside here now let's come we see again here we have set the key outside <clears throat> we still come again on and plot so we still come again and plot one year so when we come and plot i will instead come and i will instead plot in this time x squared x squared so now you see that here you realize that now it has been plotted at this position here realize very well you are you see that the key has changed the position from inside was initially now to outside now if i instead place the word now inside you see i come back again here and then i write inside so inside so when you write inside you come back to the plotting you see that the x has changed to position and entered another word you can use again to set is the word um, l margin so you have again l margin this is the left margin so the left margin is going to change the location now to this to the, of your key here now in order to change again the location of the key you can set again the key set the key you put inside right margin so when you place right margin you realize that the position has changed to here so you can change again the right margin and you can place again top margin t margin as such when you do this the position of the key changes and it is now here now again lastly you can place bottom margin with b here when you do this the position of the key will change again and you replace it so for these are the different position of the keys here now if you want to write now the default position of the key you can either come on this your chart here and you can write default key position or you just write set key because that default key position is just going to write this word here set key so if you go here on your chart you write again default key you see the same word has been written which is set key so when you set the key it's going to give the uh, default position and the default position as you come back on your graph you see that the default position is not down so this is the default position as you can see so let's do again and we plot again our graph as such you see it has taken this default position 
so now let's come again and we want to see the key we want to see the properties of the key in order to modify the key so to see the properties of the key right show key so these are the different parts of the key we see that the key is on we see the position this 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 that in order to remove to 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 place the key off you have to unset the key you see the key is right justified not verse and these are the different properties here vertical spacing and all that but i can i don't really know how to modify this property but one of the properties i, I really know how to modify is this one here key title so in order for you to change from here you can see how to modify the key title this is a key title so for you to change the key title indirectly from the show key or the property of the key that i've seen here you are going to now set now insert key and you place title as such when you do that you place your quotes you write the title i want that my title is written as um function function or i say um f of x f of x so this is the title i want that should be written beside my key so when i do this i press and i say again plot x squared so you see that here the title has been written as f of x so let's try to set the position of the key now to another one to the right margin or to outside so i'll just write outside So this is one you see that it has written the word f of x and f of x just close beside this x squared and this one so this is how you can see how to modify the key this is how to modify the key so in this tutorial we've seen the to, to modify your graph box in this tutorial we've seen how to place the grid set the key you set the key the, the grid off set the key or the, the grid on you set the key on to set the key off and then to show the key from here we we'll say thanks for kind attention please don't forget to subscribe for science Maker channel thank you